Zephyr, 3546 Archimedes dash bathtub. A file that proves what guys have been claiming for a long, long time. Shopping can be dangerous, especially when you're shopping with Zach. Well, it all started with Sarah's birthday. You know, I, I made her a necklace, but I didn't think it was good enough. So I decided to write her a song. Except I can't sing or play an instrument or anything. So I bought her a CD instead, you know, to express my true feelings. Something written by a professional. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Here we go. Ken, we've got enough already. Yeah, but if you really want to tell her how you feel, this is the one. That one's the one. What about all these? You said these ones were the one. Look, I can only afford two or three max. I gotta put these down. Wait a second. This is it. This is definitely it. Toxic Drool, they're a great band. Very romantic. Remember that date I went on about a month ago with that girl, Anne? Ah, uh, what was her last name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. The song was on the radio. Cam, I don't want a love song played by a group named Toxic Drool, which you listen to on a date with some girl whose name you can't even remember. I can't carry anymore. My arms are too full. Please. My neck has already been stretched an extra inch. Okay. Hey, you got some extra room in here. Trust me, this is the one. I feel it. Definitely not that one. You and only you. That's a great song. Okay, this is the one. But, uh, Zach, what about those? Oh, rejects. Thank you. Let's go. Zach, the CD in your pocket. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, you're coming with me. Look, it was an accident. I'm telling you. My friend put a CD in my pocket and I forgot about it. I'm telling you, you're not going to find anything. Oh, I'm not going to find anything, huh? What have we got here? Oh, toxic drool. My boyfriend loves this man. Let's put it back. Um, look, my, my son just told me that he put the CD back. Look, this is a first offense, so I'm not going to go too hard on the kid. That's very generous of you, officer. Um, I'll make sure that Zach knows. Listen, I'm going to tell you a little something. I told your son the same thing. I don't want to see him in this store again. He sets foot in this store, I'm going to charge him with shoplifting. Understand? Okay. I heard you really helped Zach out at the music store. Hey, he needed all the help he could get. I mean, Zach's a good guy, but when it comes to cool music, Cam Don Levy is your man. I was kidding. I heard you stuffed a CD in his pocket and almost got him busted. It's no big deal. They didn't lock him up. And it was kind of cool. When he went through the anti-theft thing, he lit up like a like a, a, a bug zapper. A bug zapper? <laughs> a, a bug zapper. He was glowing. Must be some cool new equipment they've got. That's interesting. You didn't tell me you were glowing. Oh yeah. That was kind of weird. <laughs> As in paranormally weird? What's that thing you're wearing? What thing? That silver beaded necklacey thing. I don't wear necklaces. It's a good thing too. It looks kind of stupid. Spence! Help me get it off. How do girls do this? Hey guys, what's up? Um, nothing. Hey, that's my necklace. I took it off for volleyball practice and I thought someone stole it. Where'd you find it? Oh, you know, around. I was keeping it on just so I wouldn't forget to give it to you. Aw, how sweet. How did you do that? Do what? Thank you, Zach. This is one of my favorites. Unless you stole Gwen's necklace to add to the jewelry collection, you don't have... I'm thinking there's definite Zach file potential here. I'm just... Not sure what it is, yet. I brought Miss Arlington, my sixth grade Caribbean monk CEO project. Brilliant stuff. 
How thoughtful of you, Spencer. Oh, Miss Arlington. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? She said she wanted to see it. She's just as fascinated with the monk seal as I am. <laughs> Yeah, yesterday I heard him talking to her about the mating habits of the Komodo dragon. Did you know? When they see a female, they change colors and puff up to twice their size. Yeah, well, love can make you do crazy things. Yeah, like walk out of a CD store without returning the CD. Hey, where'd my homework go? That's mine. Did you take it? No, I've got my own. That one just sort of appeared in my bag. Let's go through this step by step. Zach, you said when you went through the security device at the music store, there was a strange light. My skin was glowing. Well, no, not just your skin, the air around your skin. See, that makes me think your electromagnetic field has been altered somehow. Okay, Zach, stand over here and raise your arms. What was that? Zach, you've become magnetized. Magnetized? So wait, if someone like throws a box of paper clips at me, they'll stick? Like I could, uh, I could use them to stick a note on my refrigerator? No. Zach's not attracting iron, like most magnets. He's attracting something else. What? Well, you attracted that CD into your coat pocket, and you attracted Gwen's necklace. So you're saying I'm attracting other people's stuff? Missing stuff. Gwen's necklace was missing. Well, maybe stolen stuff. Someone stole Gwen's necklace, and it ended up with Zach. And then in science class when we were talking, Tad came over, and I bet he stole your homework. And it ended up in my backpack. Zach. You've become a magnet for stolen stuff. This isn't good. We have to stop this and fast. Stolen stuff can be dangerous. Where are you going? We're just getting started. Look, I don't want to think about this anymore. Tonight is Sarah's birthday, and I promised her I'd cook her dinner. You're cooking dinner? Why are you doing that? Well, I was reading this teen magazine, and they said it was a really romantic thing to do. Yeah, but Zach, you've got to know how to cook. Oh, where'd you get that? I don't know. I've never seen it before in my life. Of course not, because it's probably stolen. If it's stolen, we have to give it back. Trick is finding out where it came from. OK, well, it could be a library book. Kids are always borrowing library books and not returning them. And some of the books are ancient, but not this old. What do you think it says? I don't know. Well, I'm not certain of the language, but I think it's Greek. Yeah, whatever it is, it's definitely Greek to me. Who do we know that reads Greek? It looks like some sort of scientific treatise. I can make up the word Eureka a couple of times at the beginning. Eureka? That's a vacuum cleaner, right? Maybe. Maybe it's about the invention of the vacuum cleaner. Hello, Cam, is anyone in there? No, it's like Eureka as in, aha, I found the answer. Well, if you're so smart, Dr. Killer B, then what else does it say? I don't know. It's not modern Greek, it's ancient. Where did you get this? A used My uncle's. Guys, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No nothing. Nothing at all. We got the book at my uncle's used bookstore. The best thing we can do is return it to whoever it was stolen from. Eureka, I discovered an internet site for posting lost and found things. All right, done. The listing is on the site. No way I get to type this time. How you guys doing? Wondering if you could do me a favor, actually. Looking for a young gentleman. It goes by the name of Spencer Sharp. Is this about the book? Uh, 
how did you find me? I didn't leave my name or anything on the internet posting. Well, that uh, website you are on automatically logs each email address of everyone who posts there. We just hacked in, got your email address, and did a reverse lookup. That's a lot of trouble for a book. I'm a collector. I want to buy your book, actually. How much you want for it? We're not selling it. It's not ours. We're trying to find the real owner. I am the real owner. Well, if you're the if you're the real owner, then uh, why do you need to buy it from us? Hey, hey, hey! What? You have some problem with money? Look, just uh, you know, consider it a finder's fee, kind of a reward. No, it's not his. But yeah, but we can't hide out here forever. We don't have to hide out forever, just until we find the real owner of the book. No! I thought I saw you go in here. What are you guys doing? There's a big man after us. And he's really big. Maybe he'll give up and go home. He didn't look like a giving up kind of but guy. He has my name, it'll find it where I live. Yes? Yes, that's right. I said boys. Little bitty rugrats with a major attitude problem. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Should be okay in here. Safety in numbers. I just gotta check something on my computer. No, let's see if the car's still there. Those guys look like they're going to a funeral. Yeah. Ours. Some of these books are worth a fortune. Yeah, and if something of that value was stolen, there's gonna be something about it on the internet. And maybe we should call the police. Well, what? What are we supposed to tell them? That we've got a, a stolen book worth millions? Yeah? Right, and uh, by the way, officer, we didn't steal it, we found it. I see your point. Wait, this looks like the one. All right, there was an ancient book stolen from a museum in Prague. Where? Prague, it's in Eastern Europe. The book was Archimedes' book on volume. So we have Archimedes' book. Now how are we going to get it back to Prague? I have an idea. But we need to run some tests. This way. Let's go. Zach, you stay there. Cam, the book's going on the table. It's got negative polarity. Zach, you've got a positive polarity. Here's my theory. I think if we reverse your polarity, it will send the book back to where it came from. How do we reverse the polarity? I think walking backwards through the anti-theft device might do it. Wait, if we send the book back to where it came from, then the guy, whoever stole it, will it'll go back to him. 
Probably our buddy in black. And we don't want it to go back to him. Eureka! I've got it! Where's that guy's business card? Yes? Hi, it's Spencer Sharp here. Hey. Oh. I've uh, decided to sell you the book after all. If you want it, be at the record store in half an hour. If you're early, the deal's off. If you're late, the deal's off. Got it? So I watch a lot of cop shows. Hello? I'd like to speak to the police. I'll check the bed. How come I always have to check the bed? Uh, I can't look. I'll check the front, you check the bed. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Whoa! <sighs> okay, I'm ready. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Ah! Let's motor! Okay, they're gonna be here in three minutes. The timing is critical. Zach, you're going into the store. The guard! I forgot, I'm not allowed in there. The guard will come after me. Boys, it's time for a covert operation. ring of antiquity thieves. You got a tip they'd be here. Thieves, please. I'm a legitimate businessman. My lawyers will be contacting you people very soon. What's that? I don't know. Uh, it's not mine. I've certainly never seen it before. Sure, it just appeared in your jacket by magic. Come on. Come on. Arch. Perfect. Guys, Sarah's birthday. A dead meat. Wish I could say I made it myself. Well, at least you dialed the phone. This is great. Sun dried tomatoes are my favorite. Oh, I almost forgot. Hope you like it. Hmm, looks expensive. I hope you didn't steal it. I made it myself. I love it. Happy birthday, Sarah. This is the last document for Zach File 3546 Archimedes Bathtub. Of course, I was too busy running from book thieves to record any evidence. But at least the book's back in the museum where it came from, and Zach got back to normal. Well, as normal as Zach ever gets. Something very weird is going on. I mean, Zach walking around wearing my necklace? Maybe he has a crush on me. 
And he wore my necklace around to have something of mine to hold on to. And how you and Cam kept asking me to translate that old book? That was obviously an excuse just to talk to me. Maybe you all have crushes on me. If you ever need a guy to head up your covert operation, I'm your man. Hey, maybe I'll be a secret agent. <laughs> all right. I'm not admitting to nothing, okay? I was set up, okay? Wait till my lawyer gets a hold of this. He's gonna go crazy on you. I was set up. But you're guilty. Hey, 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 hey. You let the, 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 the jury decide on this one, fella, because a man is innocent until he's uh, found guilty. Okay, so I'm guilty. I should have never tried to find somebody else's song to express the way I feel about Sarah. <laughs> so now I've written a poem for her. Hey, it's no Shakespeare, but at least it's my own. Hey, can I see that? Hey, give it to, to me. To Sarah. It's I, personal. I know a girl so kind. Can't